Phase 4 uses GitHub for all our documents and software. GitHub is an online platform based on the Git, spelled G-I-T, revision control package. GitHub has a web interface, a desktop application, and a command line interface. Git has a learning curve. Fortunately, there is a tutorial on the GitHub website. Before you do anything else, go do that tutorial. There's a much longer and in-depth class about using Git and GitHub from Audacity. Here's the link. The Audacity class is much longer than the Hello World tutorial from GitHub. The class explains in detail the reasons why Git and GitHub is superior to some of the other options for collaboration, such as editing by exchanging attachments, Dropbox, and so on. And it goes over more functions of Git than the Hello World does. The rest of this video is a demonstration of how I remove and add documents to our Phase 4 ground GitHub account. All right, so here we are at GitHub, and we are going to use the GitHub desktop. We're going to go into a repository. This We're using documents. We're selecting GitHub desktop, clicking the little button, and it opens up GitHub desktop app. From there, go over to the particular repository, and I'm going to open it in the Finder, um, which is my version of file Explore manipulator shows in my directory structure and you can see that there's a duplication of the online repository on my machine and this is synchronized if I tell it to sync it will be synchronized now see here's a document and I'm I, I think I'm gonna get rid of this document I've decided I don't like it so what I do is from from in my directory structure um, I'm gonna look at the documents on my machine and I'm gonna delete one I'm gonna delete this one here move it to trash. Okay, now I've changed my local directory structure and because I am working with a repository um, it detects it and it says hey you've you've removed this document. I'm gonna go yeah I want to do that I want to remove this document. I'm gonna type in don't want it anymore. I say commit to master and then I'm going to sync. I'm gonna synchronize. And when I do that, it removes the document from the repository as well. And I can go back to the repository online, and I can I can go into my directory structure, and I can see that I can see that it no longer exists. This is good. Okay, now let's say I I go oops. Um, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I actually like that document. I want that document back. Well, now I'm going to have to go find the document. I threw it in the trash, but I want to put it back. Or I just want to add a document to the repository. There's my directory structure. There's where I want to put it. I'm going to go open up the trash. Okay, here's the document. I'm going to put it back into the to the directory. You can see it show up there. I'm going to go to GitHub Desktop, and hey, it detected it. It says, hey, somebody wants to add to the repository. I say, change my mind, or add document, or whatever. Commit to master, but you're not done yet. Now you need to synchronize. It's two-step. Commit to master indicates to GitHub and to Git server that you want to change something. The synchronize actually does the change. Now I can go back online, and I'm going to be able to find out if it worked. And there it is. I put it back. See, and it even says change my mind. Those little comments, those are important. They let us know who did what when. If you are an experienced GitHub user, or generally clever, you might wonder if there's a better way to reverse a change that you don't want. There is, and it's called revert. If you accidentally delete something, or need to roll back a software change because it was just a really bad idea, then you would revert to a previous version instead of manually adding and deleting. 
This demonstration is intended to get you off the ground in terms of adding PDFs to the repository using GitHub Desktop. For more advanced manipulation of the repository, start with a study of the Hello World guide mentioned at the beginning, practice a few times with your own repository to get the hang of it, and then you'll feel more confident about submitting pull requests or adding documents to our repository. If you screw up, just ask for help. We're all here to learn and add to our knowledge. GitHub is a powerful tool that has become immensely popular in the open source software world. It's the right tool for the job for us, and you will undoubtedly find plenty of other enjoyable projects out there using GitHub.